A thesis statement is a promise from a writer to his reader, an agreement that every word that a writer uses supports his or her thesis statement. In argumentation, the thesis statement is critical. When you first learn to write an argument, place your thesis statement in the introduction of your essay. In argumentation, the thesis has two parts, a subject and a claim. The subject is the topic or issue of your argument. Perhaps the issue is wearing uniforms at school. What follows is your claim. This is your opinion about the issue, whether or not students should be required to wear uniforms. A thesis statement should be one and only one complete sentence. It answers the questions. What am I writing about? What is the purpose of this essay? Or what is my claim? The thesis acts as an umbrella for your entire essay. The body paragraphs are the reasons that support your claim. As writers of academic essays, you have choices for designing your thesis statements. First, you may want to write a framed thesis. A framed thesis does what its name implies. It frames your essay and guides your reader by naming the topic for each of your body paragraphs. An open thesis, on the other hand, still guides your reader, but not with the specific topics. Rather, this type of thesis statement is open, even thematic in nature. For argumentation, I'd like to show you some examples of open and framed theses. In the Jane Schaefer Academic Writing Program, the thesis statement is going to be black. Here's our first example of an open thesis. Requiring uniforms on campus curtails individual choice, but uniforms have many benefits too. The first independent clause acknowledges our opposition side to this dilemma, that uniforms curtail or restrict individual choice. And by providing this counterclaim, we honor and even anticipate our opposition's opinion. The second independent clause provides our side of the argument that uniforms have many benefits. We separate these two independent clauses with a comma and the coordinating conjunction but. Here's a second example of an open thesis. Although uniforms curtail individual choice, they have many benefits. In this case, we begin with a dependent or subordinate clause and the subordinating conjunction although. Subordinate means less important because we think the other side's argument is not as strong as ours. For our third open thesis, we place two independent clauses on either side of a semicolon and begin our independent clause with the word however. Uniforms curtail individual choice. However, they have many benefits. Now comes our framed thesis. We start with any one of the above constructions. I'm going to use number three. Uniforms curtail individual choice, however, they have many benefits, such as, now watch me name the topics of each of my paragraphs, alerting security and administrative personnel that a stranger is on campus, providing parents with a less expensive approach to school clothing, and preventing students from judging each other by the clothes a person wears. Our reader now knows the topics of each of our paragraphs, security, cost, and judging others. Once we have created the thesis, we simply drop it into our introduction's graphic organizer, and then we'll back into it with other sentences. Keep reading and writing.